Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. On this, the feast of our parish patron, St. Henry, along with his bride, St. Cunegunda. My name is Father Charles Sock. Let us begin with earthen vessels. <clears throat> we hold a treasure not made of gold in earthen vessels wealth untold one treasure only the Lord the Christ in earthen vessels light has shown in our darkness, God has shown in our heart with the light of the glory of Jesus the Lord. We hold a treasure not made of mysteries, we call to mind our Lord's love and mercy by reciting our penitential rite. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, whose abundant grace prepared St. Henry to be raised by you in a wonderful way, from the cares of earthly rule to heavenly realms. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that amid the uncertainties of this world, we may hasten towards you with minds made pure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Nurse the child for you. 
Yes, do so, she answered. So the maiden went and called the child's own mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will repay you. The woman, therefore, took the child and nursed it. When the child grew, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, who adopted him as her son and called him Moses. For she said, I drew him out of the water. On one occasion, after Moses had grown up, when he visited his kinsmen and witnessed their forced labor, he saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his own kinsmen. Looking out and seeing no one, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The next day he went out again, and now two Hebrews were fighting. So he asked the culprit, Why are you striking your fellow Hebrew? But the culprit replied, Who has appointed you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses became afraid and thought, The affair must certainly be known. Pharaoh, too, heard of the affair and sought to put Moses to death. But Moses fled from him and stayed in the land of Midian. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Turn, Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am sunk in the abysmal swamp. Where there is no foothold, I have reached the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. Turn, Turn to the Lord in your need, and in the new heaven. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Turn, Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Turn, Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your name, and you will live. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rains fell, the floods came, 
and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it was, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to the Lord. In earthen vessels. And we have two earthen vessels today in our readings. At least the first one was Moses. Moses. Rather humble beginnings, but adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. And he rose to being called to save his people Israel. Given all his imperfections, as we heard about one of them today, He was called and led his people to the promised land. And in the gospel today reflects on St. Henry and his empress bride, Cunegunda. They rose from what we would call more mean estate. He was only the Duke of Bavaria that he inherited from his father. And then rose to become king of Germany, later king also of Italy, and then crowned Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope. His lifetime is judged by his holiness, his justice, and looking for peace. His crown was to be a good ruler, organizing the civil state, but also organizing the church as well. Both he and Kunigunda will be remembered, buried at Bamberg, will be remembered also for taking care of the poor, compassionate to those who were needy. Today we reflect on both Moses and Henry and Kunigunda. Both, all three, were earthen vessels called and ultimately cooperated with God's grace in their life. Today we pray, teach us to welcome your grace, Lord, so that we too can do great things for you, just as Moses and Henry and Kunigunda. We now stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for those called to lead, both in civil government and in the church, that they guide as earthen vessels of Christ's justice and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for peace in our own troubled land, and most recently in the troubled land of South Africa and in the whole world, that there be peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And that through the intercession of Saints Henry and Kunigunda, we may recognize our own call to wholeheartedly respond to Christ, to our call for holiness. We make these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. 
Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept us as the Christ of For the praise of the Lord May the sacrifices we offer to your majesty, O Lord, on this feast day of blessed Henry be effective for our salvation and pleasing to you in your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the unperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and the multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Henry and Cunegunda, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alexander and Peter, our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast day of Blessed Henry may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, a reminder, we have a funeral mass for Christine Skinner at 11, and tomorrow at 10 o'clock for Russ Bride and Ben. Both will be in the main church. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We hold a treasure not made of gold in earth and vessels wealth untold. One treasure only, the Lord the Christ. In Is glory in Jesus.